Welcome back my niece and nephews. One of my nieces and nephews has sent me this and saying, Uncle Jason, you need to look at this. Looks a very nice villa so far. Life has given me some curveballs. I think it's my time to find love. I was married for 14 years. I want to get a chance to do me a little. Young men have much more energy. They think out of the box. I want that. Okay, so it's a, it's a dating show. Right, okay, nice. You want to find love. I love that how um, she said, oh yeah, young men are better, they've got energy, right? But I guarantee you now on the flip side though, if a 50-year-old if a, if a 50, 50 man said, oh yeah, I want a young girl because she's like a bunny, like, oh, I can imagine the reaction. There's a, there is a massive thing when, they're called a double standard, like, literally, and Uncle Jason knows this far too well, like, it comes back to the old analogy when I used to be, um, be in a large community of a load of girls, like, like me, just a guy, like, you know, when um, when, when you when you see a nice looking lady and you check them out, it's like, oh, well, you can't do that. You know, you shouldn't do that. Blah blah blah, right? And all the rest of it, yeah. That you see, like, you see all these woke TikTok gym people. You can't check me out. You shouldn't check me out, right? But I tell you now, I've known a lot of girls over the years, right? As soon as, soon as these some of these girls see a nice, not these these girls here see a nice little bit of beefcake, they jump, they're jumping out their seats quicker than Usain Bolt and running running to run the window, like to have a look, like. Or, in this case, run to the beach, like. Do you know what I mean? It's quite a double standard there, do you know what I'm saying? I'll tell you what, in all fairness, if we put if we had to uh, put some beefcakes at the, the, uh, the finishing line, the Women's Olympics, I, you know, we might break some world records, if you know what I mean. Let's continue. I am in this amazing, beautiful mansion here in Mexico. This is a perfect place to find love. You're about to embark on a dating experience like none other. Let's go! I have an extremely high libido. I think we're going to be in Milf City. OMG! Brace yourself, my niece and nephews. Is that too much saying I have an extremely high libido? Should I just have said a high libido? Uh, ladies, where's all the menace? I'm ready to connect with somebody who doesn't really care how old I am. I'm just looking to have fun. I will say one thing though, age is just a number and it doesn't matter how old you are, if you can find that one piece one piece of happiness and that love in your life, then absolutely wonderful, right? But I'll tell you this now, if they made this dating show where it's like 50 year old men going with like 18, 20 year old girls or, you know, trust me now, my niece and nephews, there would be a backlash, a Twitter storm backlash, man, like you've never seen before, like, absolutely, you can categorically take that to the bank and back, right? I don't mind this show, it's actually quite funny, but the thing is... The double standard is what will Uncle Jason will point out and say about the most. We go. What the hell? It just got real. I wonder what this, this shock's going to be because she looks very shocked, my niece and nephews. Pause the video here and if you haven't seen this before, put in the chat what you think the shock's going to be like. Okay. That's my mom right there. Mama, guys, aqui. <laughs> oh my god, are you having a giraffe, man? Tell me it's not what I'm thinking. Tell me it's literally not what I'm thinking. All these MILFs are basically, there's eight, eight MILFs, whatever, how many MILFs are, right? And then all their sons are gonna be the eight guys they're gonna be dating. And they're going to live in this villa together, and these eight MILFs are going to be dating each other's sons. Oh, that conversation in the girls' dorm room is going to be a oh, 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 crikey, man. The, the, the last thing you want to hear right, as a parent, man, is like, you can imagine, you imagine one of the other um, the MILFs um, dating your son, and we're going like, and you've just heard her say, yeah, I've got a high libido, I've got a very high libido, should I just said high libido, and then she's going to be dating your son. And then she's probably going to talk to the girls about how your son's a girl in the bedroom. Like, he like, looks trying stuff. Ooh, this is just, this is just going to, this is just going to end in tears. This is absolutely, 
But I tell you what, though, this is going to be epic. Dios mío, mi vida! Oh my God! I just saw straight to Jose's eyes and just stay there for a couple of seconds and say, "What is this?" <laughs> I am really confused right now. What is really happening here? Wait, that's my mom right there. This can't be going on. I'm like completely shocked. I see my son back there, and it's like, who are all these guys? So we're supposed to date the other moms. Uh, You're here. That's so weird. Yeah. That is so weird. I knew my son Gabriel was going to be in Mexico with me. I thought he was going to be on a separate dating retreat, but he's in my dating pool. Right. You're not a naive little kid like love. Right. Seriously, did you not think a TV company would have... They've got you going to somewhere and your son going to somewhere in the same area. Did you not think maybe, you know, reality TV shows about shocking aura and stuff, man? Did you not think maybe there might be a wee little chance this might be happening, like, man? I'll tell you what, though. This could change their perspective on dating younger guys completely. Because scar them for life from doing it, like... Because they might actually appreciate that when they're dating a younger guy, they're actually dating someone's son, like. Oh, my goodness. Like, the look on some of them, their faces is absolutely priceless. I tell you what, all my nieces and nephews, if you really like this sort of stuff, let me know in the chat and I will try and find this and do more watch-alongs for this stuff. Because I tell you what, Uncle Jason is down for a bit of this. I tell you now. And I'm gonna have to see my son date these moms. This is crazy, bro. Sorry, when I say down for a bit of this, I don't mean a down, a down bear, bit of a milf muff diving like. That's not what I meant when I say I'm down for this. I mean, I'm down for the entertainment value. <laughs> oh my goodness. I've just realised what I said, like, man, that is just literally funny. Oh, look at her face. That just sums it up so brilliantly. Uncle Jason pulls that on the exactly good point, like, that her face, like, the look on her face of disgust, man. The penny is dropping for her on the reality of what's going to be going down, like. Literally, her son going down on a milf like. I'm feeling very overwhelmed and a little scared. <laughs> Seeing my son standing in that line made me feel very awkward because they're my son's age. We up, let's go. We up. Uh. I was a little shocked to see Ryan in the pool. I didn't see that coming at all. I'm going to be honest. I'm thinking first pick in the draft. Like, I'm looking at everything else before my mom. Thank God for that. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, we don't need a little bit of it. We don't need some kind of weird um, incest family kind of weird weirdness. No, we don't need that at all. Like, oh my goodness. But what, it, what do you mean looking at everything else before your mum? You should be looking at your mum in that way in the first place. I think he's just overwhelmed, so he just blurted out, like, I will give him his due, I will give him a little bit of leeway there, like, I'll tell you what, this is just absolutely mortifying. Let's continue. Hey, what are you doing here? Why are you following me on the retreat, Joey? I'm here to find love. <laughs> Don't get it. Well, he's here to find love too. Shock horror, the TV company, like Uncle Jason says, shock horror, the TV company has put you together and done a twist. I would never have known this coming as, oh my goodness, well, yeah, duh, it's called reality TV, like, hello, we do You would think we li these people lived in a time without internet, wouldn't you? You really would, how shocked they are, it's absolutely funny. Honestly, honestly, older women are very hot, and I know I got the swag, and I, I got the game for them. Wow, this is like news to me. <laughs> yes, mom, yes. Mm. I'm Joey, nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm April. April, nice to meet you. I'm feeling great. How about you? <laughs> right, he's got the swag. Right, stop, stop, stop. Right. He is going to get eaten alive by one of these girls. In all fairness, they actually might like that. You know, like a got a nice cougar going. Rah! I might eat. I could actually. That, like, that girl there is going to eat. If, she, if he gets with her, she is going to eat him alive, literally. Let's just hope she doesn't bite it off when she's eating him alive, like, you know what I mean? Because that's, that's not a good thing. But whenever I bring a woman home, it's all up to my mom whether I'm dating her or not. Yes! Wait! Wait! Been... 
So basically, he's going to bring a MILF home that's your mum's age. Oh, they can sit down and have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. Oh, that's going to be a fun conversation, isn't it? Like, it's not awkward of meeting the in-laws as it is like, do you know what I mean? Like, not at all, like. <sighs> wow. So, all my nieces and nephews, like I said, if you like that, let me know in the chat. And I'll do some more of this. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.